Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss bony pelvis with test question. These are the following topics covered in this video. So, so let's start. At first, formation of the bony pelvis. Bony pelvis is formed by the four bone, two hip bone, one sacrum, and one coccyx. The function of the pelvis. This basinal structure connects the spine to the lower limb and the important part of the skeleton system which bear transmit weight uh, from the tongue to the leg and it also um, bear weight during sitting positions and helping walking and running and protect pelvic organ and in females especially it is set up for the child bearing. There are two parts of the pelvis. Uh, this is true pelvis or lesser pelvis. This is false pelvis or greater pelvis. There is a two pelvic plane. There is a pelvic inlet and pelvic outlet. The space between pelvic inlet and outlet, this is the true pelvis. It is known as the lesser pelvis because the diameter is less than the greater pelvis. It is also known as the true pelvis because it is all around. Uh, has bony boundary. This is false pelvis because the bony boundary are present only posteriorly and laterally and in anteriorly there is no very well uh, bony boundary just the muscle of the anterior abdominal wall. That is why it is known as the false pelvis but due to the greater diameter it is also known as the greater pelvis. So axis of the pelvis uh, is not the straight line it is a curved line. Uh, the plane of pel uh, plane of bo bony pelvis is the pelvic inlet and outlet, and this is the pelvic inlet. Uh, the bony uh, part from the pelvic inlet. This is the sacral promontory. This is all of the sacrum. This is sacroiliac joint. This is arcuate line. This is iliopubic eminence. This is pectineal line. This is the pubic crest and this is the superior surface of the pubic symphysis. This is the boundary of the pelvic outlet in front the lower border of the pubic symphysis. This is uh, anterolaterally the ischial pubic ramus and laterally ischial tuberosity and uh, posteriorly tip of the coccyx and posterolaterally there is a uh, no bony boundary. Uh, there is ligament, sacrotuberous ligament. The content of the female pelvis from in front to um, anterior posteriorly, anterior posteriorly, urinary bladder, uterus, uterine tube, ovary, and ligament of the uterus and ovary, and posteriorly up to the third sacral vertebra, sigmoid colon below the sacral vertebra, the rectum. Uh, the superior surface of the urinary bladder is covered by the peritoneum. Then the peritoneum is covered, the anterior surface of the uh, cervix and the anterior surface of the uterus, then fundus, then posterior surface of the body of the uterus, cervix and upper one foot of the uh, vagina. Then it goes to the middle two-third of the rectum. So, due to this peritoneal arrangement, you see uh, there is a balloon here. So, the um, pelvic viscera is situated below the balloon. Uh, this balloon is peritoneum. So, the superior surface and uh, anterior posterior surface and anterior surface of the viscera is covered by the peritoneum but the lower surface and posterior surface of this viscera is devoid of peritoneum. So in this uh, mm, peritoneal arrangement there is a two pouches form this is the vesico uterine pouch vesico means urinary bladder so this pouch uh, there is a, a pouch in front of the uterus and the behind there is another pouch. This is the pouch of Draculus and this is the most uh, deepest pouch uh, and it is the most dependent part of the body. So any fluid and uh, pass blood collection in the abdominal cavity is accumulated here. 
and pervasional examination when finger it enter here and this is the posterior fornix this is the anterior fornix there is a two lateral fornix uh, there is a two lateral fornix also so, so posterior fornix is the deepest when finger enter the posterior fornix a person can easily feel the fluid collection in the pouch of Douglas so these are all things present in the female pelvis this is the uh, sagittal sections uh, of the um, pelvic organ uh, this is the pelvic organ from a picture taken from the superiorly this is the urinary bladder and the superior surface is covered by the peritoneum this is the vesicular pouch this is the uh, pouch of Douglas and this is the sigmoid colon followed by rectum so you see the urinary bladder the only superior surface of the urinary bladder is covered by the peritoneum base of the urinary bladder is not covered by peritoneum this is the content of the male pelvis from anterior posteriorly urinary bladder with postrate and posteriorly sigmoid colon up to the third sacrum and below the rectum so in between the urinary bladder and sigmoid colon and rectum there is some tiny structure this is the vast difference seminal vesicle so this is the sagittal section this is the picture taken from the superiorly this is the urinary bladder this is the vesico um, recto vesical pouch in male there is the only one pouch present here uh, this is the vesico recto vesical pouch and you see the peritoneum is covered superior surface of the urinary bladder and also upper part of the base of the urinary bladder this is the base of the urinary bladder and upper part of the base is covered by peritoneum and then this peritoneum goes to the middle to third of the rectum so this is the base of the urinary bladder you see upper part is covered by peritoneum and lower non peritoneal part contain uh, two vas deferens and seminal vesicles by inclination of the pelvis is mean the angle uh, that the plane of the inlet make with the horizon this is the angle of inclinations Uh, these are the pelvic diameter at the pelvic inlet at the cavity at the outlet and uh, diameter taken in the three region anterior posteriorly uh, oblique and transfer and the extension of the anterior posterior is the from the upper uh, border of the pubic symphysis to the sacral promontory and oblique is the sacroiliac joint to the uh, iliopubic MNS and transfer diameter taken from the maximum transverse diameter these are the type of the different type of the pelvis gynoid pelvis most common in female android pelvis most common in male there is a two variety of uh, common two variety of uh, body pelvis arthropoid platypoid there are several other varieties of the pelvis so you see the major difference of the gynecoid subpubic angle is more but android subpubic angle is less mm, and in uh, arthropoid and platypoid uh, the subpubic angle, uh, angle is more and there is uh, some conjugate diameter two conjugate obstetric conjugate and diagonal conjugate and external conjugate and uh, sometimes children get confused so you see true obstetric and diagonal all start posteriorly from the sacral promontory the true one is the mm, and upper border of the pubic symphysis middle of the mm, pubic symphysis posterior surface of the middle of the pubic symphysis this is the ob this obstetric conjugate Mm, because for through this diameter the head of the uh, fetus is passed and uh, this one is the diagonal conjugate and uh, by parvisional examination you can assess uh, this diameter and this is the external uh, uh, conjugate here the upper border of the pubic symphysis and uh, uh, spine of tip of the spine of the sacral one vertebra its uh, uh, this diameter is uh, 
um, measured externally. This is the parvaginal examinations. Uh, the uh, try to feel the sacral promontory. It is not uh, mm, frequently. You can assess this uh, feel the sacral promontory. You can easily uh, feel the ischial spine, ischial tuberosity. The joint of the bony pelvis, this is the sacroiliac joint, this is the plain variety of the synovial joint. The, uh, uh, this is the PB symphysis, this is also secondary cartilaginous joint. The ligament of the bony pelvis, this is the obturator foramen, it is closed by the obturator membrane partially, uh, leaving a canal, obturator canal. So, uh, the lumbar plexus is formed here in front uh, in uh, front and side of the lumbar uh, vertebra and uh, one of the nerve of the lumbar plexus is the obturator nerve obturator nerves is leave the abdominal leave the abdominal cavity through this canal and enter the middle side of the thigh here the middle compartment it uh, innervate the uh, muscle of the middle compartment of the thigh and this is a ligament known as the sacrotiberus main ligament sacro means uh, one attachment in the sacrum and tub uh, tuberous ligament tubercity means the ischial tubercity so this is sacrotiberus ligament another ligament this is this is the sacrospinous ligament the one attachment in the sacrum another attachment at the ischial spine so these two muscle uh, sorry ligament is divided uh, from uh, the two foramen this is the greater sciatic foramen this is the lesser sciatic foramen this, there is a, uh, another important y shaped ligament iliofemoral ligament this is the strongest ligament of the body the male and female pelvis there is a difference uh, the most important uh, difference is the subfibic angle is narrower in case of um, male V shape and it is wider in case female and the mm, uh, pelvic cavity is roomy in case female and the sacrum is longer and narrower in case male and in female sacrum is shorter and wider in female in male it is longer narrower in female it is shorter and wider so uh, these are the basic difference between male and female assessment of the bony pelvis by parvocinal examination the determining the size and shape of the pelvis by assessing the following prominence of the sacral promontory easily cannot be palpated and prominence of ischial spine um, <coughs> the uh, distance between the mm, angle of the pubic arch and prominence of the sacral tuberosity the test questions it is male pubis you see the sub pubic angle is less and uh, the sacrum is longer and narrower and uh, the pelvic inlet is heart shaped and pelvic cavity is not roomy. Identity of my by mark area arcuate line, iliopubic eminence, pectineal line. This is female pelvics, you see wider uh, sub pubic angle and uh, the pelvic cavity is roomy and the sacrum is shorter and wider identify these two ligaments sacrum ischial spine sacrum ischial tuberosity yes sacrospinous ligament sacrotuberous ligament so this is all about bony pelvis if you like this video please press the like button